pretty short there, buddy. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta get on my knees. So this is the Cubex 3D printer that I got. And this is just a short little, quick little look around inside. And then we'll go ahead and fire it up. You can see how that all operates. So this is the print tray. This is where it all happens right in here. One of the first things you have to do before you start printing anything is you actually put a layer of glue down on this that's water soluble in hot water. So as it's printing, the plastic will actually stick to the print tray. So as the print heads that are up in the top, as they're sitting here moving back and forth, they don't drag the piece right off the print tray. That was the first one I threw in the trash. So if you look on this side right here, this is one of the cartridges that holds the ABS plastic. The other two are on this side over here. You can see the red plastic and then the white plastic over on this side. And that's where it feeds out of the cartridges and runs up to the top. And if you look in the back of the machine, you can see the blue, the red, and the white in the clear tubes. That's the ABS plastic that's being fed up into the print heads that are up in the top. So are those the only three colors there are? Red, white, and blue? Oh, no, no. There's about 30 different colors. They even have some neon colors. There's also a different type of plastic that is more biodegradable than the ABS is. So, you know, it's recyclable even. And is it solid or is it liquid? Well, this is actually a solid. Uh, it, it looks about like a real heavy weed whacker wire or, or a really, really big fishing line. Really big and, and heavy looking, but you know, kind of pliable so you can feed it up through the tube and then it melts it in the top. It takes it up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and then extrudes it out the bottom. Can we look in the top? Oh yeah, yeah, here, come on up top. I'll show you what's going on up here. So up, up in the top, you can see the three print heads right here with the blue, the red, and the white being fed into them. Now this is on a X and Y, so it you know, goes from side to side and front to back. And then the table itself actually raises and lowers. That's what adjusts the, uh, the thickness of each layer. So when you turn it on, the head is going to come out and center itself over the print tray. The print tray is going to rise up to where it's just barely below the edge of the, uh, below the end of the in, uh, injectors. And then it'll start printing. So let me just go ahead and put the cover back on, and it will fire it up, and you can see it all wake up and get to work. So this is the little glue stick that comes with the printer. They send you two cartridges, and all you have to do is go inside where you're going to print, and just wipe it in a couple of directions, just so you've got a little layer of glue on there. So as it prints, it's going to stick to the pad rather than getting pulled off. So is it just a regular glue stick? No, I, I'm not sure what kind of glue it actually is. You know, in the directions, they call it a glue stick. It's a little tacky when you touch it, you know, it sticks to your finger. But when it's all done, it's hot water soluble. So you take it out, put it in the sink, run some hot water on it, about five, 10 minutes, pops right off. So this is the go button, the, the, the plus sign. You give it a push and it wakes up and says, touch the screen. I've already put the thumb drive in, so you just tell it print and select the file that's in there. So it'll, it'll read the thumb drive, figure out what it needs to do. It'll look at the cartridges and say, what colors do I need? Do I have enough plastic in there to do the job? And then it goes ahead and raises the table, centers the heads, warms things up, and it gets to work. We'll run a little video of it working. And we'll show that next time. See you then.